Welcome everyone to the first episode of the troubleshooting series in which we try to fix the connectivity issue between the Arduino and the computer. I've written down with me a few steps that we're going to go through to try to fix the issue and a few possible ideas as to why the Arduino is not functioning properly. To start off, you want to connect the Arduino to the computer itself. My Arduino uses a USB type B and a USB type A, so I want to get that done. Make sure that the light of the Arduino pops up, just like this. Of course, having your Arduino connected to your computer, you want to make sure that you have the Arduino software installed. If you don't, you just want to go to the Arduino website, make sure to go to the Downloads tab, and you should have your download options here. I personally use the Windows, so the first option is the most optimal for me. I've gone through the download wizard in the tutorial. Having our Arduino connected to our computer, next we want to open up the software. From there, we want to go to the Tools tab. There's two particular options we're after. We're after the Board option, and we're after the Port option. Uh, first, we want to make sure that the computer knows, or the sorry, the soft Arduino software knows which Arduino type we're using. So I'm currently using an Arduino Uno, so I'm going to click on the Arduino Uno option that it presents. Next, we want to go to the COM, and we want to make sure that there's an established connection between the Arduino and the computer. Currently, my Arduino is connected to COM4. Usually, in some cases, it should say COM, the number, and your Arduino board. So let's say, for instance, it should say COM4, Arduino Uno, or Arduino. For some reason, mine doesn't show, but I can I can guarantee that my Arduino is connected to COM4 by unplugging it, going going back to the Tools tab, and the Port option disappears. And after plugging the Arduino back in, option pops up. Another issue that could have occurred was that during the installation, the driver wasn't installed properly. This could have been because maybe you declined, may, declined it by accident or there was some sort of disturbance during the installation. This is a pretty easy fix. You want to start off by uninstalling Arduino if you've got it. Open up the installation. I want to go through the download process. Now I've, I've downloaded the driver and so I won't receive the installation panel. I'll show it up right now. This is what it's meant to look like. You're meant to get this somewhere during the installation. Another error that we can encounter is the fact that we do not have the CH340 driver in our system. Uh, this is a quite easy fix. All, all you have to do is just install it uh, from a trusted website. Go through the download process and, and you should have the error fixed. Uh, however, you want to make sure that this is truly the error that you have. Uh, for instance, installing the CH340 driver in your Mac will result in an error. All the new versions of all the operating systems do have the CH340 driver in them. Next, you just want to click, I'm using a Windows, and I'm just going to cl uh, click on the Windows EXE. This one's the most suitable for me. Go through the download process. I already have this installed, so I hope this is not going to provide any problem. Uh... CH340, uh, I believe this is the one, and then you just go install. Driver installation failure, this is due to the fact that I already have it. Uh, it already says uh, CH340, so uh, if you don't have it, this should um, go through the download process clean without providing any, any errors, just like how I encountered. Now, one of the possible errors that can arise just from your components could be either the cable or the or the, com or the microcontroller itself, the Arduino. And right over here that I have is a battery. Uh, this should come with along with the kit that you purchase. Uh, one way to check whether the problem is with the Arduino is just to connect it. Obviously mine lights up, meaning that it's correct. However, if your problem is, 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 is with the cable, then uh, and when you connect it and there's no light, then I, th I believe you need to get a new cable. I also provide a link for an individual Arduino, just in case. Uh, the battery will come with the kit and a cable down in the description.